Do you remember this lake? We ended here last time. So here is Overland Lock 3 Tower. It's in Overland Lock 3.4. Um, Overland Lock 3. So here I'm selling, I was going to sell each floor to other people, but no one probably wants to live in Overland Lock 3. It's pretty trash as you can see. There's a lot of words in the sky. And well, Overland Lock 3 is now districted into sub districts. And soon I'll show you Overland Lock 3.6. It, every border between every subdistrict border has a um, immigration checkpoint where you have to present your belongings if you have any items to declare. And on screen, I'm going to show you a map. So here is Overland Lock 3.6. It's one. Of, it's the smallest subdistrict in Overland Lock 3, and we can of course return back into uh, Overland Lock 3.4. And then you can, from there, you can go to Overland Lock 3.9, the free entry zone, which is just a dense spruce forest and it borders Serena space. From there, you can go to Overland Lock 3.3, which is more like a hallway between like three subdistricts. And then at Overland Lock 3.2, you can see there's a play pa uh, place here. And it's quite a fun area, but. Uh, you can from here. You can just jump into the ocean to get to Serena's base. Back there was uh, her Strider Island. She greets us uh, friendly in a friendly manner, of course. We can see her Strider Cave and her pumpkin and melon farm. Her pumpkins, of course, are necessary for her to do her intense s snow golem production. Um, and her house, being that spawn, is often subject to vandalism. So, if you steal from there, your small brain, I guess. Um, of course, like most houses on in Minecraft, there's a basement, I guess. There's a shop um, on her roof because she'd spanned from uh, the Spruce Village. And so, um, on her sky bridge, you can walk or run towards the Spruce Village, which is surrounded by a uh, dense bamboo wall. So Spruce Village is kind of like the capital of the server. Uh, a lot of people live there. And um, Kevin's the one who's building all the walls and castle like towers and also the bazaar you'll see soon. And we just passed by the uh, water house which no one lives in. And there's a lot of animal farms here as well. And which is why Spruce Village is pretty laggy so quite non-ideal you can see that there's a, a tower here with a bunch of villagers in it like any advanced minecraft society there's a ton of villagers here and that also contributes to the lag while i'm exploring this tower you might wonder why the video is sped up it's just to reduce the lagginess in the video because it's pretty laggy in game So we're about to pass by an arena, uh, there's currently no tournaments going on, and we intended to have an arena in every major area, but turns out that we didn't really make one. So here is someone's mansion, maybe Daniel's, but he doesn't live here anymore. And then here is the Yang's house on uh, above the ocean, and then CC's house on top, and there's a new addition. So, might as well check, check it out. So here is Gavin's old base. It's underwater, which is pretty cool, but a lot of dolphins like to die here. He also has a base further out, it's like a tunnel, but it's not shown in this video, and it's pretty irrelevant for now.
So here is Iceway 1. It's the it's how you get to Andrew's base, uh, Andrew's Island. And, well, it's pretty irrelevant, but we might as well show it. Um, I'm currently lagging a lot, so for some reason, on my client, I'm not riding a boat. But once Steven rides it, then it appears like I'm in a boat. So, you can just watch me struggle. So, this isn't Andrew's island, it's over there, but Gavin also resides here. This was originally Henry's uh, base, but now it was blown up by Gavin and converted into an industrial farm. And during when it's day, we can see his obsidian sphere in the sky. A brief rant on buttons, their hitboxes are really small and they like depower pretty quickly and so for people experiencing a lot of lag, they're pretty unhelpful um, for doors, which is why it would be better if you had like a lever so that they stay longer, they also have a bigger hitbox, stay powered longer, or if you use a pressure plate. Of course, uh, neither are ideal when it comes to defending your house from mobs, which is a bit sad. So we're about to see Gavin's new base made of obsidian. It's an obsidian sphere, but it, I think there's stuff inside it. But I'm I can't be bothered to uh, go there with all this lag. Um, and I think it might be elytra only, but there might be a water elevator now. I'm not sure. So in an effort to preserve capitalism, we have shops on this server. Uh, here's the bazaar. This is like a side shop with a bunch of food and eggs, um, and I think they charge emeralds or diamonds. Those are our two unofficial currencies. It depends on what you want, I guess. Um, here are some shops in the bazaar stalls on, um, on the elevated platforms, and here are the supplies that are uh, imported in from Ovine Lock 4. And we actually have two stalls, and both are... we charge diamonds. Um, we're probably going to use the Hermitcraft method of just replacing the slots with payments, but I guess it's up to the store owner on how they want people to pay. So here is where Fang and I think Caleb reside. They Fang has built some nice buildings here in the outskirts of or outside the bamboo wall of Spruce Village. I think this is a greenhouse. And that's their mansion. Um they also have a basement, of course. Who doesn't have a basement? And it's an impressive build because it's like multi-floored. You can also see uh, when you get to the top floor, you can already see glimpses of it from the windows. You can see their wheat field and some other farms that they have.
that sound was uh, a Windows notification telling me that Windows Defender is disabled. I disabled it because it, I don't know, the anti-malware service executable seems to be causing a lot of lag. So I just disabled it. Um, here is ISOI 2. Um, it's principally used to get to Overland Lock 3, but now that it's pretty irrelevant uh, because Spruce Village has its own portal, it's mainly used to access ISOI 2E, or 2 Extended, to access Daniel's base. It's a long iceway, but it's worth the ride because at the end, you can see a pretty nice build by Daniel. Also, the thing that we just passed by was a statue of Gamepro 5. From here, we can go to uh, OL3 underground. Um, uh, first, we probably can go outside to see Ovine Lock 3.1, which is only relevant because it's the entrance to uh, Ovine Lock 3 underground. Ovine 3 Lock 3 underground is also only relevant for one thing, which is its nether portal, because uh, before 1.16, we all, the both portals. Uh, link to the same one in the nether, but we fixed that so no one really comes here anymore um, From here we can go to Edmund's old base, which I think looks quite nice because there are like a lot of flowers there and a lot of nether stuff as well So here is Iceway 3, uh, it's the fastest way to get to Ovine Lock 4. All the Iceways are built by Daniel. So that's an iron farm, and that's the front face of Ovine Lock 4. This is where we started, and most of the, a lot of the farms are inside, I guess. Uh, here is the path to what is labeled as the uh, manual tree farms, but there's actually no tree farms here. The automatic one is elsewhere, but in this direction, there's some um, attempted manual turtle farms, and the glorious cactus farm that drives our bone meal production. That wooden stump over there houses our melon and pumpkin farm, I believe, which we use to uh, trade to the villagers and produce bone meal. I think we also sell pumpkins and melons to at the bazaar in the spruce village. We also have a pickle farm. And here's our bedroom, because we're in, uh, I believe, modified or fragmented, whatever the like mountainous savanna biome is called, 
We also have an AFK chamber and a mob farm, hence the loud mob sounds. Here is up here is the top of the mob farm, which was created early on. And here is our massive storage room and uh, villager trading center. We have both a white room and a red room above it for trading. And back down here, we have the unstackable storage. And then we have an auto sorter for all a bunch of stackable items, not all of them. Back there is the overflow for the items that we don't sort. But it's pretty comprehensive. And down here is our bulk storage for items that we have a lot of. We also have a pig step disc. We actually have two, I think, but I think we lost one of them. Quite sad. Up here is uh, the access to Oven Rock 4 Tower, which you saw in some earlier video of mine. And Henry actually came and claimed the floor, which is quite nice. But first I had to figure out how to turn off clouds. But I don't think I know how with Optifine and in Spanish. The clouds are pretty annoying. We also have a stronghold, surprisingly. We didn't really expect that when we came here. Here's the smiley, the smile smeltery. It's powered by carpet duping for fuel. So here are our bees. Um, we mostly moved them to the nether, I think. There's a pretty intense uh, bee farm that lags the server whenever someone's in the nether. Here's our barn. We have a bunch of animals here. Uh, and here's our bulk storage, V2, or V1, I guess. Here's our tree farm. It produces a lot of warped logs and shroom lights that we sell. And here, I think, is an attempted um, cobble or basalt farm. And back here, we have a memorial for some parrots that died in cactus, I think. So here is La Via de Hielo. It's a very shady, very precarious, poor quality ice way uh, leading to Mesa Monkler, which is the Mesa biome. Uh, it's so dangerous here that someone actually fell into lava and a bunch of people had to perform a rescue operation to save him. Um, 
it's not very safe in the Mesa as well. There's a lot of mobs, it's not well lit. Yes, we use the bed technique to get netherite. It's pretty explosive. So here is the intense bee farm that makes the TPS drop on a server. It's pretty intensive. Edmund made it. Um, the nether roof, I'm not really familiar with. It's also pretty, like, I think it requires the elytra to access for most of it. And since everything is so spread out, I just want to cut to some interesting bits. So here is the very long iceway uh, to what I believe is Nico's space, but there doesn't seem to be anything on the overworld side. Um, all there is are a bunch of icebergs. Well, that's the end of this tour. It's the best one for the server because no one else has made a better one. Nonetheless, pardon my lag.